skunks. Skunks are nature's <coughs> skunks are nature's little <coughs> stink bombs. Hi, I'm Danielle Dufault, and you're watching Animal Logic. There is no mistaking that particular skunky odor which is unforgettable if you've ever smelled it up close. Pepe Le Pew, the cartoon skunk, painted over his distinctive white stripe to try and impersonate a cat, but fat chance. There is not enough paint or perfume in the world to disguise a skunk. That vile odor is produced by the skunk's anal glands. Anal glands are two little paired sacs on either side of the anus, and they're found in all carnivores, and in humans too, although ours are located inside the anus. Great. All we talk about on the show are anuses. The sacs secrete a sticky liquid that animals use to identify each other. Dogs, for example, use this to mark their territory. Skunks use theirs as a very effective defense mechanism, which is ingenious. If you can't beat them, stink them. Or maliciously aim your putrid spray at their eyes, temporarily blinding them. Or whatever floats your boat, or stinks it. Sorry. The stench is caused by chemical compounds called thiols. They can also be found in decaying flesh and feces. Not surprisingly, we and other animals avoid these smells like the plague, or in this case, decaying flesh or feces. Up close, skunk spray is almost like tear gas and vomiting is not an uncommon reaction, which is a really great adaptation for a small animal that would otherwise be quite tasty to large predators. Along with the smell, skunks have evolved warning coloration. That obvious white stripe down their back is a signal to other animals to stay away. Once a dog has been sprayed by a skunk, it learns to avoid anything that has a white stripe. My cat, however, isn't quite as smart. She was sprayed four times in two weeks. Now she hates me for washing her four times in two weeks. Typically, they unleash that dreaded spray as a last resort. And they usually give you fair warning by arcing that fluffy tail, stomping their feet and chattering. If you see that, run, because this little display will escalate to a full scale chemical attack. Spotted skunks, however, as a last warning before they spray you, will do a handstand to appear scarier. Which they do, because if I know one thing, it's that handstands are terrifying. If you, or more likely your dog, get sprayed, you'll find that the smell sticks around no matter how many times you bathe. That's because the spray contains other chemicals in addition to thiols that make it linger. If you ask 100 people how to remove that skunk smell, 99 of them will probably tell you to use tomato juice. But that does not work. You just end up with a pink dog and a tomatoey skunk smell. It's not good, unless you're into that. A chemist, Paul Krebaum, discovered the magic formula, which is based on science. Mix a potion of hydrogen peroxide with baking soda. Add in a little detergent and voila, the smell is gone. Unfortunately for Paul Krebaum, you can't actually package that mixture, because if it's bottled, it will explode. What animals should I check out next? Let me know in the comments and make sure to subscribe for new episodes of Animal Logic every week. For more on the rehabilitation of skunks, be sure to check out City Wildlife Rescue. I'll put a link in the description. Make sure to check it out and donate if you can. Thanks for watching.